This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Welcome to Simproof, Fry speaking here and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build and with the first look of the new expansion pack for the Sims 4 called Island Living. Yes, EA was so nice to flew me in to EA Play where I could already look at the new expansion pack and of course the first thing that I did is of course to build since this is like a thing that I just love to do and yeah this is also like my first house that I built. It's the first thing um, you know like my first look at everything Thing, so I didn't like spread out every uh, build and buy object and yeah it was kind of crazy to to build something like this because yeah it's a tropical world called Sulani with three different bigger islands which are also neighborhoods I think we have 14 different lots this is the biggest lot in this 50 by 50 lot and of course I wanted to have a house on stills and yeah it's going to look amazing it's going to be like a beach house this lot also has as you can see water so it's part shore part water and your sims can also swim in the water and therefore you have a new foundation a stilted foundation which you can use and build like your house into the water and I just thought okay this is the first thing I'm going to try out it's going to be amazing also of course new freezes and new columns lots of new windows all to suit like this more tropical Hawaiian Polynesian kind of look and yeah I really really love it the build and buy objects are amazing the world is amazing you can already see that here I will also of course do way more videos I've recorded five builds I've recorded a whole world overview and of course I recorded a little bit of vlogging of my whole trip because I've been not there alone because I've been seeing and meeting so many other amazing simmers from around the world and it was amazing it was lots and lots of fun and I'm pretty sure you're as excited as I am because this is one of the best expansion packs so far it is so detailed um there's so much new gameplay stuff it really feels feels so fleshed out it feels like a must-have kind of for the sims in my opinion if you really have to i mean it's just even if you're not into tropical things or maybe not even to mermaids because yes mermaids are a thing now your sims can be a mermaid become a mermaid not become a mermaid you know all that stuff and uh, therefore they can also swim in the water and we have jet skis and all that so it's just amazing it's just so much it really expands this expansion pack really expands the whole sims 4 game for you it's nothing too specific in my opinion i think everybody enjoys like a nice day on the beach and definitely this world is just absolutely amazing and beautiful it kind of is of course in the top three of my worlds now in my opinion absolutely gorgeous so yeah we have new um freezes and columns which i use to kind of uh, improve the deck kind of porch area and there are i wanted to have like a porch area all around it almost because i've seen that in kind of lots and lots of these tropical builds which i have been preparing for there have been some leaks for the sims 4 that's probably a tropical pack and therefore I've like looked up lots and lots of these Polynesian architecture traditional architecture and this is more of a resort kind of build it's not that uh, traditional but has like these traditional kind of um, ideas behind it so it's kind of like a modern take on that I think but yeah I really liked how I did the roofs there are also new um, dormers kind of that you can put into the rooms roofs that I like Sometimes you can see me like going over the objects and kind of reading what it actually has to be because I'm not that, you know, firm with the culture and what like uh, the whole culture has and like these kinds of objects and what they're for. But yeah, it was just amazing. And here you can see me doing like a little um, pier, I would say, into the water, which I really wanted to have. And I just thought it's going to be so much fun to connect that with another um, stairs which we have two I think two new stairs and two new railings or maybe only one railing I'm not sure and yeah so your sims can go directly into the water and there are ladders I think two of them that you can use here yeah, I wanted to do a pool but yeah this is also nice to know on these shore kind of water lots you can't build any basements and uh, can't build any base uh, pools so keep that in mind I think you can put the pool then by the way in the first floor but yeah, what I was talking about is the ladders. You can put these ladders in then so your sims can directly go into the water. I haven't tested it in gameplay. Maybe they can even 
jump into the water from this pier because it's like on the same height, uh, like the same level. Um, but yeah, tons and tons of new uh, objects and windows, which I really loved. And this house is going to be there's a living room, two bedrooms, and a kitchen. I think I'm not sure. Yeah, it definitely has a kitchen and a bathroom and a not so sure about the amount of bedrooms because when I, I built so much it's all it's all still a blur also I apologize if my voice sounds a little bit weird still but yeah I lost my voice somewhere in Los Angeles <laughs> where EA Play was and we all kind of come back with like a cold but yeah it's like such a beautiful world lots and lots of fun to build with it as well and yeah, at the end of course I will show you lots and lots of screenshots and maybe uh, talk a little bit more about it in detail so you can see everything because I know these speedruns are kind of like a lot uh, at one point um, but yeah it's tons of fun I really think that you're going to love it <laughs> and yeah if you still have any questions about the game pack or not the game pack it's an expansion pack I'm sorry but if you have any questions about the expansion pack Write it in the comments. I will read all the comments under this video and try to answer them. So if you have like some specific kind of questions about the lots or the world or anything, I could look at everything. I didn't do so much gameplay, but of course I talked to all the other simmers who were there, invited there, uh, who did more gameplay because I wanted to know how the mermaids work, for example. I'm not that huge of a mermaid fan, but hey, for our really hardcore fans of this channel, we have a new lionfish. There's a new lionfish in the game. It's purple. We also have it in debug. You can see it like swimming in the reefs. It's so beautiful and I'm so happy that we get another lionfish. Like somebody on the Sims team either is in our lionfish cult in it. I mean, I haven't figured out if it's like a thing that they know about that I love the lionfish or if it's like just a coincidence that they do another lionfish again. I really have to look if they did like another same fish again. But yeah, I was just so stoked that we have a new lionfish. Like this was like a highlight for me. I know that not everybody else can like relate to that. But yeah, for me, the lionfish is just still the best object that we have in game. It's a derpy looking lionfish. Just love it. And now we have a purple one. Ah, amazing. <laughs> just amazing. Um, but yeah, um, sometimes you can see me like putting stuff aside because I was looking at it, what it is. And here we are with the amazing, like looking through glass, ce not ceilings, uh, glass floors uh, that you especially can put on the pier so you can look down into the water. It's amazing. We have lots of new pagodas. Some have this kind of shawl around. Um, and then we have some that only have um, maybe wood around and stuff. It's uh, There's lots of different pagodas now, which I really like. And yeah, I especially love, of course, the glass floors, which is was also like a big one for all the builders that were there. Like this was like the first one we were talking about, like, oh my God, the glass floors. And of course the um, new stilted foundation, just amazing. And we just enjoyed that so much. Like these were things that we always wanted. And also maybe you've already spotted them. We have sun beds. Oh my god. It only took the Sims team four years to do that. <laughs> but yeah, we have always been doing sun beds with an armchair and an ottoman and stacking them together. But finally, your Sims can like tan in the sun. And therefore, they have added two sun beds into the game. And yeah, finally, I can put these everywhere. These pool kind of, you know, sun beds, uh, ottoman kind of things. I was so stoked about it. So that was like a first as well for the Sims 4 and finally we have them. There are also tons of new color swatches so don't be afraid of um, you know maybe it looking into Polynesian. I think like all the interior like uh, build and buy mode stuff is very traditional looking but then again um, there are sometimes some swatches because they usually ha use heavily colorful patterns or very uh, distinct patterns and sometimes there's like a white swatch or like a black or gray swatch you know unique color swatch that makes it look kind of very modern as well so it kind of is very versatile we don't have that many objects though i think it is even like less objects in build and buy mode than in strangerville which is a gameplay pack but we have so much like we have a new world you sims can swim into the sea and there we have mermaids so we have tons and tons of new gameplay so i think they just focused more on that 
and therefore it's, it's okay I'm really happy with the objects we have there's like no objects where I was like what the hell why we didn't even ask for this like where I got kind of angry because it was so redundant to have also we have two new boats and a jet ski which your sims can use and uh, like really drive around the sea they are really functional and of course we have um, a new barbecue kind of hole uh, which is this Hawaiian Polynesian kind of type of barbecue which I forgot what it's called but yeah also a new wedding arch with all these huge palm leaves and some towels which are basically like the sun beds where they can sit and or lay down and tan and we have the same as floaters for the water where your sim can like swim into the water to the floater and lay there down there as well and yeah i really really loved how it all looked it's amazing the lighting is perfect the world is perfect i'm just stoked how it all turned out like with all the patterns and it definitely feels a little bit different than the island paradise from sims 3 i never had this pack by the way that was back in the days where i already stopped playing sims 3 because it was so laggy for me and i couldn't yeah i couldn't yeah i just i just didn't play it anymore but uh I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed this pack here a lot. I mean, I'm not that huge of a mermaid fan, but um, there are some animations like how they swim, how they interact, and also it's kind of like a secret, so you don't really know who is like a mermaid right away. They really have to go into the water and then you can see the fin. Um, so that's actually really interesting, uh, also for gameplay. Um, and yeah, maybe I'm going to build like with more uh, mermaid kind of inspired stuff which looks a little bit more whimsical so we will go there from the architectural design more into the production set design kind of thing you know a little bit more crazy and i really like that we have a new counter for the kitchen sadly we don't have a wall cabinet but under shelves we have three more cabinets but it's like as a shelf in the game um, which I didn't find in that build <laughs> when I was building this house. But yeah, later on in the other builds that I did, which will come, of course, in this week, um, you will see lots and lots of new stuff as well, which I will switch it up a little bit with all these uh, amazing, cool objects that we have. And also you will see, of course, some more color swatches and uh, what you can do with all these kind of stuff. I always do these videos so you maybe get inspired for your builds or your gameplay. Ah, here we go. This is supposed to be like a children's uh, room going to use like the new table and chair here as well and I think we don't have any new toys I think at least I didn't have seen them uh, but I really like also the new potted plants that we have here there's especially one that I really like because it looks really lush and big it kind of reminds me of the one that we have from get famous and uh, I, but so far like we don't have that much of um, I think like decor items i think we have like as you could already see like six small decor items no pictures by the way so uh there are no frame pictures or something like that but there are tons of new sculptures that kind of is for a festival or like as a wall divider can be used as a wall divider some are really colorful like for the speech kind of tropical festival some are really traditional and like just wooden textures and patterns so it looks like kind of very, very polynesian but yeah this is basically um, the landscaping what I do now. We have three or four new palm trees. You can see them down there. There are different, also like some jungle flowers and uh, trees, which are all really beautiful. I especially love the palm trees because there's also one that is kind of slanted on the side and it looks so cool. I, I wanted to use it all the time. I just love it. Um, but yeah, the new... Um, trees that we have here is re are really beautiful. I'm not that a big fan of the flowers, but this is just because I'm usually not a big fan of flowers anyway. So that's just uh, can come out of that because they're so colorful. But yeah, the whole world is just beautiful. Like I said, I really love the objects. I really love the gameplay. It is one of the best expansion packs for The Sims 4. Definitely point. It's not because I've been in, in invited to A, but this is something we have been waiting for. And here we are already in the screenshots. I couldn't do like a video tour because I just had like a certain amount of capture time. But this is some screenshot of the house so you can see a better look at everything. And yeah, I tried to make it look very, um, you know, 
Polynesian kind of fitting to the world, of course. I'm not going to build like a huge concrete block directly on the shore. That would have been like a sin, in my opinion. But yeah, um, I tried to use as many objects from the new pack as well, because I was just looking at them and kind of trying to figure out for what they're all for, you know. So you can see them here a little bit better in all of the screenshots. And yeah, I definitely love the new couches in my opinion because they come with really colorful pillows and like I said some swatches are like just with plain white so they can be used as a modern kind of couch as well. Um, I definitely like uh, some of the very traditional funky kind of things that came for the beach festivals. Um, which we will see in another build that I'm going to do uh, or going to bring up in this week and This is but the, I think these are like a little bit more distinct and like kind of more personal if you are into this kind of more colorful crazy stuff But yeah, like so far uh, One of the favorites are the shaded windows Which are just like little shades that you can put in but they work as windows and this is just beautiful and they're also like um, this time perfectly like new doors uh, for the windows all matching each other like this time I didn't find any object that didn't match the whole theme so far so that is great it really matches like everything matches to each other so finally that's also easier maybe for a beginner builder so you don't have to worry about not so, something not matching because it's all from the same pack matches really perfectly here we see the birds view of everything if you want to recreate that in the sims 4 i don't can provide the save file for this or like a download this time because i've been playing this on ea play and wasn't able to upload of course to the gallery but yeah so far that's it my first build with island living the new expansion pack which i really love and i hope that you like this please subscribe to my channel if you like these kinds of builds and hit the like button and uh, bell button i think i have to say as well but yeah thank you so so much for watching and i I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!